Hi guys. In the industrial environment, power and data are the lifeblood of operations. So are you tired of dealing with complex cabling and power management in your industrial network? Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up an industrial grade 90 watt PoE++ network system using the PoE switch. So get ready to revolutionize your industrial network and take your connectivity to the next level. And whether you're working on a network infrastructure or any other technology project, we've got you covered. Maximize your potential and ensure efficiency with professional system, system design by sending us your problem through the link down in the description box below. And our expert will get back to you as soon as possible. So we know PoE stands for power over Ethernet and can provide both power and data through a single Ethernet cable. But what exactly is PoE++? PoE++ is an industry term used to refer to the enhanced power delivery capability provided by the IEEE AO2.3 BT standard, also known as the 4 pair power over Ethernet, 4P PoE, because it uses up all four pairs of the wires in an Ethernet cable instead of two pairs and can provide up to 90 watts of power. Now, PoE++ builds upon the previous PoE standard and significantly increases the power level that can be delivered over a single Ethernet cable. And PoE++ also offers numerous advantages in an industrial application, like simplifying the installation, powering high power devices, and centralized power management which making an ideal solution for powering and integrating devices, enhancing operations efficiency, and supporting the digital transformation of an industrial processes. In a PoE++ system, the power sourcing equipment PSE plays a critical role by delivering power to PoE-enabled devices, negotiating the power requirement, and providing power management capability. And there are different types of PSE available to support the PoE++ system, such as the PoE switch or PoE injectors. And we also have to have the PD, which is the powered device. And those devices rely on PSE to supply power while simultaneously transmitting data, including IP cameras, wireless access point, and industrial sensors. So now let's move on to the demonstration board, and I'll show you the setup for today. As you can see, our setup is pretty simple today. We are going to connect a high power PDZ camera over here using the industrial 90 watts PoE managed switch. And in between, we have 100 meters Ethernet cable. So let's take a closer look at our PoE switch. So you can apply this 90 watts industrial managed PoE switch for harsh industrial application that require accurate control, high level security for data switching, as well as real-time data monitoring from the remote end, and also achieving effective management and convenient maintenance for PoE++ network system. Now it has 4 gigabit SFP slot, providing long distance, high speed, and low latency fiber optic connectivity. And also 8 1000 megabit per second PoE ports. It is IP40 aluminum housing. The working temperature ranges from minus 40 degrees up to 75 degrees. And the managed switch can provide advanced feature for high security and performance like VLAN configuration, DHCP or STB setting for optimizing PoE++ network. In addition, our managed PoE switch has dual DC power input for redundancy and can achieve high stability for system operation. Beside it, we have the industrial 48 volt power supply. It acts as an alternative stable power source to AC outlet by generating DC power despite harsh environment. It can also accept a wide input voltage range from 90 volt AC to 264 volt AC, regulated 94 volt DC output, and provide 480 watts high power project to serve network devices. 
and the working temperature range is from minus 20 degrees up to 70 degrees. So without saying, let's do the connection together. Let's use a short patch cord to connect our main network router with the NVR. And the monitor is already connected to the NVR. And using another Ethernet cable to connect our router with our Manage PoE switch. Let's plug it in to any port. And this is the 100 meter Ethernet cable. Let's plug it in here as well. And here we have a console button for IP prof IT professional to do the web configuration. And for easy installation, I already plug in the power source. So we have the 100 meters Ethernet cable over here. And at this side, we are going to connect with the PTZ camera using only an Ethernet cable. And now it's getting power and data already. And the video should come up soon. Let's give it a little bit of time. Here we go. And I'm going to wave my hand so you can see this is a live video and everything is already being connected together. So let me give a few more tips about the PoE++ system. First, make sure you check your PD compatibility with the PoE++ and the required power level. So you have to calculate your power requirement of all the connected devices for power budget consideration. And the total power that's available from your PSE, like your PoE switch or the injector. Second, selecting appropriate Ethernet cable. Make sure you choose a pure copper cable like the Cat5e, Cat6 or Cat6e for the PoE++ system. Third, consider the cable length limitation because we all know the PoE has a distance limitation of 100 meters. So if you have to install the system beyond 100 meters, you will need to add another extension tool for the installation. Last but not least, industrial PoE++ system require a reliable network topologies to support the demand. And there are several of them commonly used in the system, such as star topologies, daisy chain, and the ring topology. Of course, your switch will need to support ERPS for that. And follow our channel to find out more videos about the daisy chain and the ring network and thank you so much for watching us today and I'll see you next time.